All right, guys, so we got some new information about new cards that are coming to the JP side of Dokkan Battle, and it looks like we're starting to get some characters from the Universal Tournament. Freaking super hyped uh, survival tournament, the tournament of survival, whatever the heck the actual official name is from Do uh, Super Dragon Ball Super. I do follow it. I am up to date with it, so I'm super excited about it. We have one, two, three, four, five cards that are here. One's an SR Goku. Not amazing, but whatever can you do? But we have one, two, three, four SSRs. Finally, we have another Android 17. I've been waiting for the 17 from this one just because I really want, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a good 17. That's what I've been waiting for. Um, it's freaking awesome. Actually, I think he is the same as the Hellfighter 17. They're both techniques. I'm pretty sure the technique one is uh, the Hellfighter and they are key orb manipulators. So that's freaking awesome. So he's going to be able, I believe he's going to be able to, unless the intelligence one, but either way, <clears throat> he's going to run really well on that team because, uh, well, we're going to go over it right now. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Bergamo. Um, so Bergamo, huge. So I'm assuming this is the one that he goes into like super big, super big form. Um, <clears throat> so his leader is very strong attribute. So uh, it looks like I guess it's extreme type key, not extreme, physical type key plus two HP and attack and defense plus thirty percent. So that's freaking awesome. Not amazing, but a mini lead if you guys are lacking a leader. Uh, for the physical, he will be good if you're a newer player. Again, that's not going to be amazing for, like, let's say, new events. But if you have, like, cards for older events and you're trying to go up against the old Dokkan events, like that's the flat-out boost leaders or the Dokkan exclusive that are not really leaders, um, uh, the 100% leaders and possibly the 70% leaders, that would be really good for. Um, so, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, definitely would be good for Anyway, Super Attack, Dangerous Triangle, gives super opponent damage to the opponent, 6 turn defense, th so yeah, essentially, that says, um, I'm pretty sure that's supreme damage to the enemy, and he raises the defense for up to 6 turns on this Super Attack, so that's freaking awesome, so he's going to be a really good defender, and his max stat for defense is actually really high for an SSR, uh, and if he ever gets a TUR, I'm sure that defense is going to go up, he's going to be a really good defender. Um, he's physical type, so what do you expect? I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he is extreme, yeah, he's an extreme uh, opponent as well, so keep that in mind. So he's going to go really good on the physical core team. Um, on terms of his passive skill, attack plus 20% up, up to 120% every time he gets attacked, and it looks like when HP is 80% or less, he sometimes goes giant. And it's really hard to, to read this, this translation from Google Translate. I do my best, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, because it wouldn't make sense for your HP to be 80% or less to have your attack raise, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So, uh, he needs to be attacked six freaking times, guys. Holy sh... That's just... That sucks. <laughs> Before he actually starts doing really good damage. But, you know what? That's not horrible, and because his defense stat is so high, he is meant to tank. So, that's really good. Um, his link skills are atrocities, which is actually cruelty. Um, uh, let's see, what is this? Attacking the Brainiacs. Uh, brain school, that's what that is. Uh, well, what the heck is this over here? So, yeah, brains. Uh, vigor, key plus one, which is journal. I don't know, cowards. Uh, so, cowards, huge. Venture, which is key plus two. And venture is, okay, that's brains. Yeah, see, this whole freaking thing gets a little bit messed up on the, when they first come out. But this, this is very, very unique. It looks like um, they're giving Khalifla um, a new uh, link skill, essentially, and hit. Um, unless these two already had it. I don't remember them having this key link. Uh, power competition, which is like uh, the World Tournament of Power, not the World Universal Tournament of Power. So that is a link skill of key plus three. That's freaking sick, dude. Like, holy crap, look at the, all these guys have key plus three, which is a really freaking... Oh, look at that, even the freaking Kappa has it. All right, cool. So um, they are all getting these link skills for key plus three. So that's going to help them all get super attacks off. It's like essentially an over in the flash link almost. Um, really useful, actually. I like that. Um, so he really cool card. I like him. I like him as, I think he's a cool character. I like wolves. So you know, wolves and eagles or hawks, whatever. Any kind of like tal big bird with talons and shit is really cool. Um, so let's go ahead to the next one. <clears throat> this is going to be Topo. Now this is freaking awesome. I really can't wait for them to make a Jiren card. They better, they better make Jiren like super OP. Um, I did watch Masako's video about how like Topo and Jiren and all of them how they all relate to. The, uni the DC universe, and how uh, essentially Jiren could be the equivalent to Superman. Freaking sick. I love that. But anyway, I'm getting off. So, super attribute visibility. So, I'm assuming that is uh, strength type. Uh, key plus two. HP attack and defense plus 30% up. So, that's freaking cool. I like that. Um, Woken. So, he's a super unit. Yeah, because, you know, Justice. Uh, cool. I like that super attack. Justice Flash. Extraordinary damage and one turn super attribute fellow attacks with 25% up. So, I'm pretty sure that is supreme damage. And he gives all allies uh, attack plus 25% that follow his super attack. 
So if he gets like a double attack or something like that, he will be giving everyone else a nice boost. Uh, in terms of his passive skill, evil immediate cutter. So something that has to do with cutting down evil. Attack of super attributes. Um, of superior attribute and defense 30% up, defense 50% up of enemies, polar attribute down. So, um, if I'm getting that right, it's uh, strength type enemies, or strength type um, allies is defense by 30% up, and he reduces the defense of the enemy by 50%. So, it says polar uh, attribute, so I'm assuming that might mean like um, physical type down, I don't know. Uh, sorry, I don't have that information for you. And he has some decent link skills. Um, looks like he has a pose, the Supreme Warrior, uh, Righteous Hero. What the heck is that, Righteous Hero? Oh, Hero of Justice. Okay, so that's that's cool, I guess. Uh, in terms of strength, he doesn't really have... I mean, he does have this Gohan right here from the World Tournament, and they're both super, so that's cool. I guess if you have him on a, ro a rotation, this Gohan will come in, in handy to give him a 25% up if you're trying to work with him on a team. Um, a, a shocking speed and power competitions... Well, yeah, that's the, the, the that um, that new link skill that's out. So overall, really freaking cool. I uh, really like this card. Max stats, HP of 7487, attack of 7596, and defense of 5610. Yo, that's freaking insane. This guy got a freaking sick defense skill also. Anything that's over like 5,000, 5,500, I consider to be really good. Uh, especially if you think about it on a double 120 team. So on a, on a Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, he's going to be nuts with defending at least. Um, now, also, this is sick. I've been waiting for this card. Right? I really like this card. So this is uh, Boo Majin Boo. This is when he got really skinny. If you guys haven't watched Dragon Ball Super, this is kind of like spoilers of what's going on right now. Uh, Miss Boo really didn't do too much in the series. He was just there because it was freaking sick. Um, so overall, really freaking cool card. Um, when HP of sp okay, so when um, agility types when HP is thirty percent or below, agility types is key plus three HP uh, or sorry, attack and defense plus fifty percent up. So he's just a straight out key attack and defense boost. No HP boost there. Super attack, meteor shower, assault, giving opponent super damage. So um, that's like supreme damage and rare, has a rare chance to stun. That's ah, that's cool. Um, not bad. I don't really know of any super boo like like good boos that are going to be on a, a heroes team for that. Uh, in terms of the agility, anyway. Uh, at least not that one, any of that ring a bell in my head. Let me know down in the comments below if so. But uh, outside of that, there's really nothing else you can do. So you have the innocence, resurrection, brain school, Majin, infinite regeneration and amazing speed he's not part of the world tournament or the universal tournament so he's not going to have that link skill but overall it's really not that bad i mean unfortunately you're not going to like oh, we have infinite regeneration so that might help us out here so that, that like i was saying like in terms of super so like he's an extreme unit so that agility one's an extreme unit unless you have like a majin vegeta then i guess you can put them two together but even so this boo kind of sucks so i'm not really a big fan um but yeah so that's that really cool i'm really happy they got this in the next one is going to be 17. I've been waiting for this guy. Like I said, I really like, like, I like Super, I like 17 in general. Um, I'm not, like, a big fan of the GT 17 stuff, but in terms of who he has developed into as a character, really freaking sick. I, I'm, I also really like camping and hiking and freaking, you know, wild animals, shit like that. It's really cool. So, like, that kind of stuff, that's why I also think it's pretty badass. So, he's technical type or tech type, key plus 2, HP and defense plus 70% up. So, he's a decent leader, no attack buffs there. But you'll have a little bit more survivability on a tech team if you don't have a tech leader. Uh, Super Attack Ultra Voltage Explosion Sword. I actually really want to see that. I don't know if it's just going to be a ball, but it's just Explosion Sword. So that would be cool. Giving super oversized damage. So I'm pretty sure that's supreme damage. and increases attack for six turns. So that's freaking sick. Um, unfortunately, we really can't read the passive skill here. Let me see if this changes a little bit. There we go. So, so if you guys are wondering, uh, a good way if you can't read it when these cards just come out, refresh the page, open it up here before you hit the translate button. Because sometimes translating it, and then, yeah, no, didn't work too well, but at least I got it up. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I just got home from work, and I just had a little bit of Wendy, so I got that freaking, um, uh, that, that honey mustard sauce, or the uh, sweet and sour sauce in my throat. Uh, animal Protection Officer. Attack and defense plus 50% up, and for every... Uh, technique ball team, he gives himself an additional 12%. That's actually really cool. Uh, that's a really decent card, actually. I like that. Any super tech. So, I mean, on a Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku team, I don't know how viable he's going to be, but still, I mean, he's going to be cool. I think you have the uh, the Android 18, the waifu one. I think she's on there, so you can keep that into consideration. So that is uh, Android Twin Terrors. Um, uh, let's see. Patrol, which I think is, yeah... Uh, one for the, like the heroes, the hero guys, which is I guess that's cool. Uh, shocking speed, uh, in fighter, and competition. So because he's in the world, tor the universal tournament. I keep on saying world tournament. God damn. Um, overall, really cool. I would really like to pull him. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I just like it. 
Uh, last but not least, it's the SR Goku. Now, whatever, if you guys want to like just kill this, because this is going to be the last one I go over. Um, he is a super physical type. Uh, I guess that's cool. He does HP attack and defense plus 20% up for space survival and key plus one. Um, so that's just like part of, I'm assuming all of them have the same category right there. Um, so he's going to be like a mini lead for that. Unfortunately, I didn't see any other cards that are getting released that's going to do that. I'm assuming maybe, maybe Goku's new form that he gets will be a Dokkan exclusive. So if you all aren't aware, Goku is probably going to be getting a new form where he has black hair and gray eyes, stuff like that. That's probably going to be the main category lead for this. How freaking crazy. That would be crazy. I don't know. And then like you could have Jiren as another one. Like, I don't know, maybe Jiro would be, like, Justice Warriors or something like that, because he would be, like, the I guess the top of it. And that would include, like, Saiyaman and Jocko and anyone else with, like, that, like, the the, the Ant-Man guy from um, Arale, whatever the heck his name was. So that's freaking, that might be pretty damn cool. I could see that, and then Goku just being the uh, survival, uh, universal uh, survival tournament and whatever. That would be pretty cool for his new form. Anyway, Super Attack, Kamehameha way of giving extraordinary damage, so I'm assuming that's just extreme. Um, pass the skill promises with all the kings. So I'm assuming that like promise of the Omni King or something maybe. Um, so space survival type category. Um, all allies. So key plus two and own attack plus fifty percent up. So that's freaking cool. And it's pro this might be also for physical. I don't know. Um, but it's definitely for space survival, which is his category lead. So he's giving everyone else on top of the key plus one for there while he's on the field. He's giving an additional key plus two, and he gives him own attack by 50% up. Not amazing by any means, guys, but it's cool. It's a freaking cool concept. I like it. Uh, so he has the Sun Family, Saiyan Blood, or Saiyan Lineage, um, Kamehameha, Fighting Warrior, uh, Attitude, or I think, what is that attitude? Is that Prepared for Battle? Yeah, uh, Situation of the War, Prepared for Battle, and Power Consumption, which is the um, Power Competition, I mean, which is the new Link skill that is out. But anyway, guys, that is all the new cards. That's what I got out of all this. I'm super hyped about that. Um, I'm probably not going to actually pull for them in uh, on the game itself, on the JP side, just because this is more of a filler banner. I, don't, I wouldn't recommend you pulling for it if you are a stone saver like I am on the JP side. I'm really not a stone saver on the global side, so I just really go hard on it. Uh, but, but with that being said, I'm actually going to be doing some multi-summons right after I record this video. This video is going up soon really soon and um i will be doing my recording of the um summons that i do for tomorrow so make sure you subscribe if you're new here to stay tuned for that but anyway guys like i said thank you for joining me here today make sure to subscribe if you are new here um i try to get all the news out for you as soon as it becomes available uh so yeah thank you i appreciate it let me know what you if you guys are planning on pulling for these cards down in the comments below or if you just want to you know talk about how cool they are i, I really like the fact that they're here anyway guys thank you i'll catch you all later